Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to specify logical data types in R. Now there are several different data types in R and most common ones you'll be using will be numeric and integers, but you will also from time to time need to use the logical data type. So to, so to find out how we use this, let's first of all set up two simple numeric vectors. So I'm going to create a numeric vector called x and assign it a value of 1 and another numerical vector called y and assign it a value of 2. So let me run both of those lines. And we can see in our global environment that x and y have values of 1 and 2 respectively and these are numeric values. Now I can compare these uh, and to see is one greater than the other. So is x greater than y. Now we know that this is not the case because x has a value of 1 and y has a value of 2. But when we run this line of code, we can see in our console that the statement x greater than y returns a value of false. And that's a logical, uh, true or false or logical uh, names. So we want to be able to store these as variables. So let me uh, start a, a new line of code here and call uh, create a new logical variable called z. And I'm going to um, assign this the result of x greater than y. So this part here, x greater than y, is the same as what we've done on line 7, but I want to store the results false in a variable called z. So let's see, does that work? So click on run. And we don't get any output in the console, but notice over in the global environment that z has a value of false. So it can only have a value of true or false, um, and it's not numeric, so this tells us that it is a logical variable. We can also, uh, can, let me print out this result here and uh, print the result of z. And we can see that we also get a value of false printed out. We can use the uh, class and its logical functions to double check on these. So let's take a look at what the class of the z variable is. Uh, run this. And it tells us that it is a logical variable. And we can ask the question, uh, is dot logical the value of z? And this should return a value of true. So let's click on that and run. And it gives us a value, logical uh, value of true in this case here. So the statement uh, asking the question, is this logical? Uh, that is true. Don't confuse that function there with the actual value of z, which is false. So that's how you specify a logical data type in R. I hope you found this useful video useful. Thank you for your attention.